Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this logic circuit and we have been asked to find which of the following is the correct state diagram for the given circuit. So as you can see over here in this circuit, the output of the D flip flop is given to the multiplexer. So as you can see, the given multiplexer is a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. That means here, this x1 and x0 are the inputs of the multiplexer and the y is the output. And depending on the selection input A, any one of the two input will get connected to the output. And here, this output Y is connected back to the D input. So in this 2 cross 1 multiplexer, when A is equal to 0, then this X0 input will get selected. And similarly, when A is equal to 1, then this X1 input will get selected. So algebraically, we can say that this output Y is equal to A bar dot x0 plus a dot x1 that means whenever this a is 0 then this x0 will get selected and when a is 1 then this x1 will get selected so as you know this x1 is connected to the q output while the x0 is connected to the q bar output so further we can write this expression as this a bar dot q bar plus a dot q and let's say this q is equal to Qn that is the present output of the flip-flop. So as you can see over here, this y output is connected back to the d input. So we can say that this d is equal to y. And in the d flip-flop as you know, the output is same as the input. That means if we see the next state of the flip-flop, that is qn plus 1, then that is same as the y output. So now, whenever this a is equal to 0, then as per this equation, this y is equal to qn bar or we can say that this qn plus 1 is same as the qn bar and likewise when this a is equal to 1 then this y is equal to qn or we can say that this qn plus 1 is same as the qn that means whenever the selection input a is equal to 0 then the next state of the flip-flop will get complemented and likewise when a is equal to 1 and the next state of the flip-flop will be same as the present state. So using this information, let us draw a state diagram of this given circuit. So as you know, for this D flip-flop, we have only two possible outputs. That is Q is equal to 0 and Q is equal to 1. So whenever this A is 0, then the next state of the flip-flop will be the complement of the present state. That means currently, if the flip-flop is in the Q0 state and if the input is equal to 1, then its output will become 1. Likewise, currently if the output of the flip-flop is 1 and if a is equal to 1, then in the next state, its output will get complemented. That means its output will become 0. On the other end, when a is equal to 1, then the next state of the flip-flop is same as the present state. That means currently, if the output of the flip-flop is 0 and if a is equal to 1, then in the next state, it will remain in the same state. And likewise, for the q is equal to 1 also, when a is equal to 1, then it will remain in the same state. So we can say that this is the state diagram of the given circuit. So from this we can say that for the given question, this, this is the correct answer.